How's that stack? Fully loaded, huh? <laughs> I hope we don't get reamed. Every year Cabrina does an annual photo shoot where we set out to a location and we shoot all of our products and and so I've been thinking about the Marshall Islands for a while now uh, because I had been there a couple of years ago and I had one of the most amazing trips of my life and I knew I wanted to go back. All I knew is that the Marshall Islands were basically out in the middle of nowhere. The place is it's in the middle of nowhere, it was pretty untouched. You don't just go there to do one sport, there's so many options. You've got kiting, surfing, stand-up, fishing, and for me it was just all the bases were covered. It is unbelievably good and you're only sharing it with the friends that you brought along. Just heaven. Boat trips are always fun, just having that, that boat to be able to check out some of the outside reefs is, is always great. And the Windward is, uh, I guess the best way to describe it, it's, it's a workhorse. It was pretty much set up to be a surf charter boat. You know, you had all the toys, the fishing gear, diving gear, um, jet skis, a tender to run you in and out, um, and they had a good team of people. Um, Awesome chef. And then you had the captain, um, Martin Daly, who he's, he's been pioneering surf spots and exploring for most of his life. So it was nice to, to kind of have um, that boat really set up to just be mobile. On a boat, there's a, there's a little bit of a trick to actually getting up and riding. I mean, think about it, we have, you know, 30 meter lines, but the boat isn't quite that long. What we do is just lay our lines out in, in this U shape, because we didn't have much space. And um, we just kind of have a team of guys. One would, one would man the kite, one, one or two would kind of make sure all the lines are free from catching anything. And um, you'd grab your bar and just make it happen. <laughs> Thank you.
Yeah, the reefs there are amazing. They're just so untouched. Basically having no one go there, they're just immaculate. It's almost like you're riding over a, an aquarium. Like the water is crystal clear. You know, you open your eyes underwater and you see nothing but live coral and um, tons of fish swimming around. And it's, you really feel like you're, you're in the elements. You're really a part of it. It's kind of scary because you look down and because the water's so clear, it's like the bottom is right there and it kind of freaks you out a little bit. Makes for a pretty good experience. We got a couple of days that uh, the wind just completely backed off and we had really that the classic idyllic scenario that you'd be looking for on a surf trip with perfect point break barrels wrapping around these tiny little islands and um, I don't know man there's something about it being out there with just your friends and uh, everybody's doing their thing you know Kiahi's on the sub just getting barreled out of his mind and Dre's pulling into barrels and you're you're pushing each other into these waves and that's the payoff. That's, that's what happens when you travel halfway around the world and that's what you hope to get.
Believe it or not, there wasn't a whole lot of downtime. I mean, we were on the go pretty much the whole time we were um, at sea. I mean, we were either riding or we were sailing to a place where we were going to ride. And so there were a couple of moments where you could actually just kick back and, you know, chill out on deck and play some music or, you know, just hang out and, and whatnot. But there are other times when we uh, got to go ashore and, and check out some of the villages, especially this one. We, we uh, went with a small crew of guys and you know, just took a walk through the village and kind of see how everybody lives. And it's, it's really mellow there. It's just pretty cool to see that, that everybody is really happy, even though they're living such a simple life. Um, I think in the Western world, everybody has you know, all their toys and their cars and internet and everything, and these people, they don't have any of that. They just live really simple, simple lives, and, um, but they're all happy. They, they do you know, the things you do on a little island, play a lot of volleyball and you know, fish, swim. It's really good to see. More times than not, when you're cruising around through the atolls, all you see are these groups of tiny little islands. Some islands are like the size of your backyard, some even smaller. And um, they're just these idyllic little islands that are loaded with palm trees and just amazing for uh, freestyle. We did get to session a couple of flat water spots that, that to me were world class. Um, this one spot, there was this long reef that kind of stretched off of this island and the wind was blowing offshore of the reef and it's, it's crystal clear, super flat water um, and just unbelievably beautiful. Let it drift out. Yeah. Holy fuck. Nice river dance.
There's a strange irony about doing a trip to a place like the Marshall Islands. You really got to disconnect yourself to actually reconnect with, with the sport that you do and your friends and, and uh, you know, things that matter. Kite surfing for me is, is more about the big picture. It's about uh, the lifestyle and of course, you know, I like to go to places that are just visually beautiful and the Marshall Islands definitely has all of that. I think the remoteness is one of the things that stood out for me on the trip. We got great conditions and it didn't even max out the potential of the place. If it was windy, we'd kite and when the wind died, we'd surf. So. On, that, on this trip it was pretty perfect. It's pretty much one of the best trips I've ever been on just to have such perfect conditions and yeah, it's basically the best thing I've ever seen. I'd go back there in a heartbeat. Hola. Let me get a focus. I gotta focus this shit. Come on, this is for the for the kids. Hold up. Yeah. I heard. You cut yourself on the cage, and I was like, kind of spun out, and I was like,